Take one. Um, Port Angeles, Washington is where I'm from originally. And uh, it's a great little town. About as far northwest as you can go in Washington State. I've moved around quite a bit. I first moved to LA in 1998, 99. And then from there, moved around quite a bit. Um, Dallas, Boston. And so I moved back to the LA area about five years ago. Favorite thing? I think my favorite thing about LA is it's just a huge scene. There's, you know, whatever you're into musically, there's a scene for it. And the worst part's the traffic. I think being a musician in LA is a little bit isolating because uh, everybody drives 45 minutes to an hour to the gig and then has to drive that same distance back home. So people don't really hang out much afterwards, they sort of split. I started playing the fiddle when I was seven years old, seven or eight, and um, I probably stuck with it because I wasn't very good at baseball or basketball or any of those sorts of things. Um, it's actually a camping trip. We were on a camping trip and it was raining, and uh, somebody had a, a little black and white TV, like camping TV, and uh, we didn't get any good channels. The only thing we got was um, Fiddler on the Roof was playing. And uh, I don't know, I thought that was really cool that <laughs> Eastern European music was, uh, I was really into that. So. No, you know, I think at an early age I, I decided, you know, as soon as this stops being fun, I'll just quit and do something else. Um, and I didn't really think it was going to turn into a job or a career. Um, but, uh, you know, one thing leads to another, and I'm still having a great time. I'm going to keep at it, I guess. Good <laughs> road story? Or just anything. Oh, I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> um, pick one. Um, well, uh... Just a couple weeks ago, played a gig. Um, we were standing up there playing, and it was for a, a private party. Every once in a while, you have to do these where you play for a, a private party. And um, during the party, these two miniature horses ran into the uh, into the audience where people were seen, sitting and having dinner, and the horse was just freaking out because the music was really loud. They're kicking and bucking and knocking things over, and we're just keep playing, watching the mayhem. <laughs> Miniature horses destroying the... It was pretty wild. So, yeah, that, that was weird. There have been others. <laughs> Practice. <laughs> um, and, you know, <laughs> don't be afraid to try things out, you know. I learned how to improvise by just going down and when I was in college, just sitting in with the bands at the coffee shop. You know, it was terrible. <laughs> but, you know, you gotta start somewhere. It's okay to play wrong notes and you figure it out. I, f I learned a long time ago that I'm happiest when I'm doing a lot of different things. I, I don't like doing just one type of thing for too long. I get kind of burned out on it. So I feel lucky that the bands that I do play in are stylistically very different. Um, you know, swing jazz and rock, and pop. And, um, I still get to play in an orchestra every once in a while. Uh, I play a little bit of viola too, so that's a lot of fun. Um, so variety is what keeps it interesting for me, I think. We gotta get the, the obvious two out of the way. Um, Tom Waits, uh, Django Reinhardt. I like all that stuff. Nice. Um, boy, 
I have to come up with five? Yes. Like if I leave one out, it, it's going to get filled in with like Barry Manilow or something like that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, oh no, <laughs> pressure's on. Um, you know, Shostakovich, I love uh, Shostakovich. Um, Stuart Duncan, amazing fiddle player. He's great. I like the Flaming Lips. I like that. I think I'd have to have that collection. I think I would have to get the Beijing Duck. You ever had that? Oh yeah, it's served with a, a side of sugar. <laughs> just sugar. <laughs> and you take that, the, the duck skin, you just dip it in sugar and it ends your world right there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I have one of those. I'm not the only one in the room with it, too. I, I like zombie movies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know he does. <laughs> any zombie movies? Oh, I love them all. They're all great. They're all great. Yeah, probably. Uh, this is a Fritz Pulpenick fiddle uh, made in the 1920s. So it's a, it's a good good working fiddle. It's been through a lot. So. I use the LR bags pickup. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> really nice. Yeah.